welcome to part three of this Pilates Meta session where we are layering um, different exercises to increase the challenges. This last phase um, we're working in what's called gate pose. So we're resting on one knee while lengthening another leg out to the side. I'm going to come onto my right knee first. Um, I'm not going to mirror you because otherwise it gets confusing for my little brain. Um, and then we'll, we'll swap sides. Please remember to pop a cushion under the knee that you're resting on if you need to, just to give it that extra support. So let's get started. We're going to rise up onto both knees and then you're going to extend one leg out to your side. So my left leg is long and straight, my left foot is flat onto the floor and it's pointing in the same direction as my head. So the little toe, preferably, is pressing down onto the mat. If this is a really big stretch and uncomfortable for your inner thigh, for the adductors, you could bend your knee a little bit and that should take the pressure off that muscle. Um, but otherwise, try and keep the legs straight. The back foot is just resting. You could tuck it under if you prefer, but um, I like to keep mine nice and flat. And then check that your hips are facing the front, your shoulders are facing the front, and bring your arms out into a T position. So the first part is a shift. So as you breathe in, you're going to shift your weight to the right and then pull yourself back over your hips. Breathe in, come away from the long leg, breathe out, come back over your hips. So you're thinking about almost shifting your rib cage to the right while your hips stay where they are. You'll notice my arms are staying parallel to the mat and not moving them up or down. We'll do one more set. If you need to relax the arms or the legs, please do. The next phase is a side reach, like we often do in standing or sitting. So your right arm goes down, your left arm comes up, and you side reach over through the body, and then you lift back to the center. As you breathe in, you go over. As you breathe out, you pull yourself back. So it's the left side of the body that's bringing you back upright. While you're lengthening into that side first, you're then strengthening to pull you back. The right hand may or may not touch the floor. Definitely doesn't have to. Just one last set. Let's relax the arms for a moment. Now what we're going to do next is come right over onto the right arm. If the floor feels really, really far away, pop a block or a book or something underneath your hand just to lift you and make the floor feel a little closer. So we're going to bring the arm right down onto the floor. I'm just going to shift back a little bit so that you can see um, my, hopefully, see the spinal movement. So hand on the shoulder, knee, hopefully, still under your hip, and the left arm reaching up to the ceiling. You're looking up to the hand. You're going to take your arm down and under, threading it between your right hand, right knee, twisting a little bit backwards. Then lift your arm up and take it back. Breathe out, go down and under. Breathe in, come up and back. We'll do two or one more set after this one. that arm up above your shoulder. Now see if you can shift your weight even more into that right hand. So your left foot gets lighter and lighter and lighter. When you think you can, try and lift that foot away from the mat and rest. Breathe out to lift, breathe in to rest. It's going to feel hard work, the outer bottom muscles, the outer thigh muscles working and even into that top waist. We'll do three more sets. After your last set, rest the foot back down, make it nice and flat. The top arm is going to come right over, over, over towards your head. Stretch that whole left side of your body. Take a big breath in and then breathe out. Lift your arm, bend your knee and push yourself up to your high kneeling position. Just to um, realign 
spine and balance the body after having just worked the left side, come onto your hands and knees into four point kneeling position. And we may come into our rippling cat. We'll do three sets. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Take a deep breath in as you breathe out. Curl your spine into a cat. Breathe in as you pause. Breathe out, draw the tummy in, go back towards your feet, just maybe halfway. Breathe in, straighten your spine, look back to your hands. Breathe out, shift forwards. Breathe out, curl into the cat from the tailbone to the head. Breathe in to hold the cat. Breathe out, sit halfway back. Breathe in to straighten. Breathe out to shift forwards. Breath in to prepare, one last set. When you finish, let's change sides. So, come back up onto your knees. This time it'll be the right leg that stretches out to one side. Remember to plant your foot into the mat. Little toe side of the foot resting on the floor. The foot is pointing forwards in the same direction as your shoulders, your hips and your head. Check that that left knee is right underneath your left hip. Remember you can bend your right knee if you need to. Bring the arms out to your sides and let's begin the shift. Breathing in to shift, breathe out to come back. So now it's the right side of the body that is pulling you back to your upright position. The rib cage on the left is shifting away, the right side pulling you back. Two more on this side. Then have a rest if you need to, or as and when you're ready, come into your side reach. Right arm floats up as the left arm goes down, and you come back upright. Breathing in, and breathing out. The body lengthening over to one side, the right side of the body stretching and then the right side of the body pulling us back. Two more if you're okay. On the last one you can stay down, rest your hand into the mat, keep the weight even through the left hand, left knee, right foot, top arm reaching to the ceiling, take it down, thread your needle between the left arm, left knee and lift it up, take it back. Breathe out to go down and under. Breathe in, come up and back. We'll do three more sets. Twisting the upper body in both directions. But hopefully keeping the legs, the pelvis fairly still. Last one. Then keep your right arm up above your shoulder, shift your weight into the left hand, left knee, get that right leg lighter and lighter to eventually lift and lower. Keep looking forwards or maybe upwards to the hand, breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you lower. Three more. After the last set, rest your right foot into the mat. Take that right arm over towards your right ear, right over the body. Big stretch into that right side of the body. Deep, deep breath. And then lift the arm back up. Shift your weight, bend that right knee. Bring it back under your hip. And let's finish with some more rippling cats. So we'll do another three to finish. And then we're done. So. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, long straight backs. Enjoy this movement, it feels so good to balance the body. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, curl from the tailbone up to the head, rounding the back, lifting the tummy. Big breath in. Breathe out, sit halfway back. Breathe in, straighten the back, look to the hands, lift the chest, hinge forwards. 
breathe out, breathe in, just pause, breathe out, go back, breathe in, just straighten, breathe out, come forward, last one, As we did before, you can come right back into rest position, keep that space between the knees, bring the feet together, stretch the arms out, rest your head into the mat, or onto your hands, or have the arms long to your side, you can rest your head on the cushions, or on the mat. Take some lovely big breaths into that position, breathing deep and wide and full to the backs, the sides, the bottom of the ribcage. And we are finished our part three and finished this mat work session. Really good work, well done. Hope you feel good for it. And I look forward to seeing you again for the next session. Bye for now.